Hi everyone this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel in a very exciting development Asus has come up with this new Rag Flow Z13 2025 series of laptop which is a lineup designed for both gaming and more importantly for us for AI developers this series include three models as you can see on your screen each equipped with state of the art AMD processors and more importantly and notably with very unique set of memory capabilities that is aimed at AI models or running them locally first in the lineup is a rog flow z13 which has been priced at around 2100 us dollars it fe it features the amd ryzen ai max 390 processor along with 32 gp of memory next we have this rog flow z13 which has been priced at around 2300 dollars that also offers 32 gp of memory and is currently not available but for me the most important model is this third one the premium model the rog flow z13 that is that has been priced at 2800 us dollars it stands out with an impressive 128 gpu of unified memory of which up to 96 gp can be designated as vram and that really really intrigued me a lot these laptops really are shining with their quite a good display with quite a good decent resolution of 2.5k and then 180 hertz refresh rate for smooth and visually stunning performance but for me the significant highlight is their ai capability driven by the amd x dna npu which provides up to 50 tops making them ideal for handling ai models and complex computational tasks now in terms of pricing the series presents a compelling alternative to high-end devices like apple's mac lineup particularly for those needing substantial memory without breaking the bank but i really am curious to see how it plays out against nvidia's digits and but this could be a smart choice uh, given that it is reliable because the innovative features are impressive no doubt about that but there are some consideration and concerns which exist around asus historical reliability that uh, company from taiwan asus has been quite good i mean i have used their products they are okay i would say they have been very heavy in phone hardware and electronics um, they also have they are headquartered in taipei in taiwan i believe and they are not a new player they were founded around in 1989 so they have been designing and manufacturing these laptops, desktop, motherboards, graphic cards and other components and peripherals for a long time. Um, also the na company's name is quite interesting. It originates from the last four letters of the word Pegasus that symbolizes wisdom, creativity and the pursuit of innovation. So let's see how this new innovation from Asus plays out. Having said that, I really want to touch upon a couple of the points which intrigued me, spe especially around memory, because it is really worth noting that uh, the memory which we are talking about, especially in this last one, this one is a shared RAM, not a unified RAM. So for a 128 GB chip, you can only allocate 96 GB of RAM to the GPU, which is quite exciting. and I want to know how this RAM allocation affects the bandwidth because that is very very important especially when it comes to networking and how that plays out. Now uh, there are a lot of other things which are quite I would say not clear to me for example one thing I always feel with AMD that their AI framework which is ROCM or ROCM is basically unusable. It's not that stable and when you try it out on any random AI project more often than not it's a gamble whether it works out, out or not um, the price though looks quite good for these laptops they are in the same range as Nvidia's digits but the promise to run any Linux that you want uh, on this one is really big now Nvidia digits as far as I know is only have Nvidia's proprietary Linux flavor so if 
I believe AMD fixes Rockham and if Asus is managed to run this in a portable way on this um, laptop that will be a big big win but I think that is more on AMD side rather than Asus side. I believe most of the people uh, are really keen to try out this unified memory because they think that all they need to run a large language model um, on their laptop is through unified memory even that is slow um, i think as long as they can run it and get a decent speed they should be um, happy now one more thing is again around operating system because we all know that whether it is windows or linux they both of these operating system do not automatically allocate vram to the uh, gpu or apu it has to be set so if we are offloading 96 GB to the GPU, the whole model will fit in the GPU and run much faster. And that is the innovation we need from these developers. So I'm hoping that this new laptop has that kind of stuff. There are a few other tidbits which I um, want to know a bit more, especially around these slots, which you can see here and IO ports, because they have two USB C40 GPPS ports. Um, I'm not sure if they are that's a good thing because the first is USB-C to Ethernet adapter which has been capped out at 10 gigabytes per second so maybe it could be increased to 40 to uh, 50 GBE adapter but I don't think so that is possible now also they don't have any USB-C 40 GBPS switches so you can do a direct machine to machine connection if you want to build a cluster around it in order to run a big model but still i believe they need to do more work around it because if you take hp's workstation as an example they come with 2.5 gbps ethernet and two usb c 40 gbps port so i think asus can take a leaf out of their book so i'm not going to go into uh, way more detail because i could talk on and on and on about the specs i'll drop the link to this page or from asus and uh, so do check them out seems quite interesting and look my main idea here is that now the game is on all of these developer uh, builders like asus and other ones like uh, hp maybe dell and the list lenovo the list goes on and on they might be coming up with their own uh, sort of innovation around how can we run these AI models locally whether through shared RAM or unified memory GPU RAM or whatever so I hope that the price also comes down because for most of the world still this 2000 to 3000 US dollar is huge so let me know your thoughts very keen to know about them before I move uh, forward let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI Camel AI is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructure for finding the scaling laws of agents with application in data generation task automation and world simulation and i will drop the link to their website in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching